going on my super saiyan which is ram here and today we're playing some more dragon ball legends but as opposed to actually playing even though it is me playing i want to actually cover some tech in the game that will help you improve and overall become a better player in the game of course i'm talking about the infamous sidestepping which is a very controversial topic, which I'll cover why in a bit. So before I start, I want to say a big shout out to Vlad, like the number one player in the game, as well as everybody that's in the Dragon Ball Legends subreddit and Discord. If you want to join the Discord and the subreddit, I will have links in the description below. Trust me, joining it, you're going to learn a lot. I mean, they're the ones who taught me how to do this, essentially. So what is what exactly is sidestepping? Let's just start there. Sidestepping is not just swiping left and right until you dodge your opponent and then you counterattack, because actually someone thought that that's what it was on Twitter. That's not what sidestepping actually is. Sidestepping is incorporating a sidestep cancel between your attacks to extend the combos and actually do some crazy damage to your opponent. That's what it is. And I'll cover the exact details of what it is in this video. So as far as playing, there's two things you can do. Number one, you can just do the basic thing where you start a combo, let's say strike, 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 melee, or strike, 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 key attack, or ultimate attack. You can do that where you play your entire hand and you do as much damage as possible, in which case your opponent can do stuff like either switch out or they can do like the instant, tra instant transmission Goku move where they basically save their opponent or they can just take the damage and that counterattack. That's basically what they can do. Problem with that is, is number one, it is kind of stale. Number two, it actually, what it does is it leaves you wide open as a player to basically take a lot of damage next. At that point, all you can really do is either get ready to vanish and save yourself or switch out. And essentially, even when you switch out, you're still kind of left wide open without having any key to do anything in return. So what can you do to avoid that and be a better player? Sidestepping, which is the second method of how to play. Essentially, the way it breaks down is, is in between each card that you play, once you start the combo, you incorporate a, a swipe cancel, which allows you to restore key, uh, draw another card, and also restores your vanish gauge. So if you did already vanish to get into your opponent's uh, face to start the combo, you'll start recovering that again so you can vanish again by the time the combo starts. It's a really, really powerful method uh, of basically playing the PvP. Now the way it works is there's two ways. Um, and by the way, I'm only going to cover the basics. If you guys want to see more advanced tech in the future, once I actually learn it myself, which again, I'll be getting from the Dragon Ball Legends subreddit and Discord, I'll cover in a future video. But if you want to see more future tech in the game to improve your overall play style, then make sure you leave a thumbs up right now and I'll work on it at some point in the near future. But the way it works is there's two ways. The first I'm being for strike attacks because you cannot do the same swipe cancel for both methods of attacks. If you do a basic melee strike card, the way it works is, is once you start the combo, you do the first strike card, then you swipe. And the second you swipe, you hit that next one. If you don't do it fast enough, it's going to give your opponent time to recover, so make sure you kind of get the timing right. You might not understand it the very, very first time you do it, but like once you get the hang of it after, let's say, a couple fights, you pretty much have mastered if you know how to basically uh, swipe and tap, because that's all really Drama Legends is. Now for key attacks or basic key blasts, it's a little bit different. If you try to um, side swipe and then do a key attack, your opponent's going to actually have a lot of time to recover and they'll be able to dodge, vanish, and then basically counter and then destroy you. So what you don't want, what you don't want to do is uh, do a strike attack and then key blast and then swipe in between that. For key blast, you actually got to dash forward and swipe, which you can see me doing the video, and then it gives you enough time to basically get your opponent where they still stagger. And from there, you can figure out what else you want to do, whether it be, you know, uh, doing ultimate attack, special attack, rising rush, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it is a very, very powerful, powerful meta to use in the game, especially with specific characters. For example, if you run someone like the red Super Saiyan Vegeta, who actually can reduce his strike cost to 5, it can get pretty disgusting. Or Heart Virus Goku, who can draw even faster. There's certain characters in the game that are actually built on having faster key recovery, like Pan, for example. And uh, someone like Heart Virus Goku, who can draw faster. Where if you incorporate the sidestep meta with those, they become very, very deadly. And actually, even if you get in a situation with like a 3v1 using sidestep properly, you can actually have a comeback mechanic, which is the reason why I decided to cover this in the video. The reason why it's been kind of uh, controversial since the, I guess, the, the reveal of it is because it is a very powerful meta. But at the same time, you got to kind of understand it from both angles. One side of the community doesn't like it because they don't, they don't really do it. Therefore, when they run into it, they usually get destroyed, which is why I'm covering in the video. So you can actually do it yourself. And the other side of the community likes it because it adds depth, which I completely agree with. And two, it also makes the fights a lot more exciting. Again, if you watch the video that I did with D Free versus the video I did with, with uh, Riku, they're completely different. In one video, we're just doing basic fights, so basically it's like you play rock, paper, scissors until you start the combo, and then you destroy a character. Or the other one I did with Riku, where we actually incorporated the sidestep meta, where it actually it, it added a lot to the fight. <laughs> it made it a lot more exciting, it made it way more competitive. On top of that, it was like you didn't know what to expect. Even if it gets to the point where it's 3v1, like I did with my Gohan, you could come back. So like sidestepping in the game is very, very important. Now, the other thing I wanted to cover, and the reason why I make this video is also is, once you get to the higher level, of PvP, let's say 45 and above, everybody's using it. If you do not use this, it's like playing Dragon Ball Z Universe without Key Blast canceling. Which I know some of you guys don't do because you never really figured it out, but again, I don't think there were that many tutorial videos in the past 
to show how the keyboards cancel in Xenoverse. But like, again, you want to actually use sidestep because in my opinion, it does add depth to the game. It makes it a lot better, more exciting, more fun. And in the long term, depending on how the characters are released or what abilities they have, I feel like, you know, sidestepping and tech step overall is going to make the game a lot more exciting and more competitive, especially that. So with that said, it's pretty simple, again, to kind of uh, resummarize. when you do a strike attack, you just swipe in between. You can see the gameplay actually on my screen over here. Uh, and if you do a key blast, make sure you just dash forward and sidestep and then do the attack. Do not ever do a sidestep key attack because it's going to allow your opponent to recover and then be able to get a counter attack on you. But again, for key blast, dash forward, swipe, attack. For basic strike, you just do strike, swipe, strike, swipe, strike, swipe. That's it. And again, in between, you will recover vanish, you will recover key, and you also draw more cards. And again, with the more uh, advanced characters like Heart Virus Goku, it becomes deadly. So with that said, that's pretty much everything that comes down to sidestep uh, and tech step overall. Pretty basic stuff. I'm not going to go into the big details of what else you can do in the game. There's a lot more that you can actually do with the characters in the game. But again, if you guys want to see that, and of course, if my homies like Vlad and the Legends subreddit and Discord want to teach me, I might cover more in the future. So if you want to see more content like that, thumbs up right now, and I'll make it happen. But other than that, that is how to do Tech Step. Uh, so hopefully that helps you guys win online. If you got destroyed by somebody, just come back at them again with this, and I guarantee you, you're probably going to win. Uh, depends on how well they do it compared to how you do it. But trust me, this is like a merit to the game that's going to make it evolve, make it a whole lot more fun and competitive in the long run, which is why I think it's more important to talk about this as opposed to just basically pretending it doesn't happen. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and all the good stuff. Any questions you might have, like I said, either tweet me at Rhyme Style, or you can also go into the Legends Discord or subreddit, which I'll link in the description below, and ask any further questions over there. But other than that, that's everything. So hope you had fun watching today's video. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.